Well, I'm not saying that it's factually based, but it's a it's an entertaining movie. There's no way in hell you pull off that trade though at the end. Well, like I said, it's not factually based, and it's got Kevin Costner. It doesn't make you sentimental for Field of Dreams. But it was so predictable. Older, again, well, uh, sorry, we're talking about anyway, Draft Day, draft the day. movie. If you ever seen it, it's dumb as League shit. League survey. Watch it sober or drunk. Tell me if you like it either way. We'll see who's right in this. It's awful. Anyways, though, welcome um, back. It's been what two weeks? It's been something. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Hmm. Congrats to all who won last week. Me. By 11 to 0. You too. Sucks for all you who lost. Uh, we're gonna, we're happy. We're going to start this podcast with, uh, you know, you watch PTI. I do watch PTI. A game called What's the Word? What's the Word? Let's do that. We're going to go in order of standings. From bottom to top. Backwards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Matt, what, do you, what do you got for Matt? Matt, I have silver lining for you because for two reasons, really. One... Uh, it can't really get much worse than it's been for you to start the year. So I feel like you should look at the positives. You can't go nowhere but up. Secondly, uh, you got your first win last week. So, I mean, that is okay, maybe this is how you turn the corner. But silver lining, stick with it, bud. I, I went with a similar theme. You're just giving up. On um, right. Next year is my word. Mm-hmm. This is- Sorry for that. That's too... Yeah. But um, it's okay. Um, Matt, you've Not got a, a great thousand. young core. But as we talked about... Every one of your good players is a keeper, so you you have no trade material. You're you're stuck. Right but now. that's why you make trades to get keepers. Yeah, so you're so, one step out of the game. Yeah, and, so, and you're gonna get Trout next year. Or or Bryce, Bryce Harper. Yeah, let's talk about that later. Let's, yeah, we'll we'll shelf that yeah. one. <laughs> um, so you've got a hell of a team for the future. Right now, it's not your year. You're a Cubs fan. I'm a Cubs fan. So we all know next year is our year, right? Yeah. So maybe next yeah. year, Matt. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Um, you have is your your one stat I'm gonna point out. You have 18 saves on the year. That's no bueno. Um, that's that's not at all bueno. I mean, I don't value saves personally, so you know it's whatever to but me. Somebody but somebody does, and you're not good at what somebody cares about. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah. it's it's bottom mm-hmm. of the line right now. No bueno. Uh, Brandon. Uh, when I think Brandon, I think pitchers on the DL, and why. When I think pitching on the DL, I think of Mark Pryor. Sorry, Cubs fans, but that's who I think of. That's two Cubs references in a row. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, I went with underachieving. Mark and Pryor, underachieving? I don't know if he was underachieving as much as he just got hurt and couldn't perform. Anyway, but, but it, yeah, either way. Disappointment. Either Brandon, way. your team yeah. is a lot better than you're performing right now. I feel like you're going to pick it up at some point. I hope not against my team. Um, but right now, it's in the dumps. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, your pitching is just terrible. No bueno. Uh, Marcus. Uh, dick cancer. <laughs> because Marcus famously wished uh, dick cancer upon Ian Kinsler for just not wanting to play for the Rangers. So when I think Marcus, not only do I think of him saying, I hope Ian Kinsler gets dick cancer, but when I think of your team, I think of dick cancer. No, is Marcus in eighth place Due to karma or because of a bad team? Uh, more to bad team, but I like to think that it's because Armo of the dick cancer. Yeah. I went with Sneaky Good. You did beat both of us because um, we're making fun of you. He yeah. did do that. I, I feel like his team is, is it's terrible, but it's good enough to just any week he could beat any one of us. Yeah. Because he's got he's got the the players there. He's he got, does. He's got, a, he's got some good and pieces. You have Bartolo Colon, who you call the, the Aegis fat Wonder. Yeah. I mean, what the hell's the deal with that guy? Mm. Uh, Teresa. Uh, lady. You're a lady. That's, That's all I can think of when I think of your team is that you're a lady. That may or may not be a fact. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I, I was going to go with period, but... A lady thing as well. Yeah. Instead, I went with boomstick. Not a lady thing. Teresa's hitting is freaking outrageous I mean, and right you've now. been doing that all year, and then last week you put pitching on top of it. It was just an amazing Not only point. last week, she had a complete game shutout this week, today against me when my pitcher had eight innings and 12 Ks and no runs. Well, and then she had to one-up that with the extra inning and the win because her player hit a home run. He did. Nelson Cruz. Teresa has 10 home runs in two and a half days. Yeah, I mean, really. Maybe even a little bit less if you talk about games and divided by you. But here's my thing. I think she is put behind this nonsense of a wedding and a honeymoon, and she's focusing on what is important, that is fantasy baseball. Hate you, Teresa. Uh, Alex Dudley. I put defensive. You put quite a rant up on Facebook <laughs> that one day, and uh, maybe you were right because your pitching is 
getting better, but we are trying to tempt you with another rant, so I will take it, or I'll leave it to Tanker to take over. Alex, I went with Young Core. Mm -hmm. I feel like you've got a lot of good young players, like Colton Long, Goldschmidt, Adam Jones, and You're still pretty young, Cole Calhoun, Marte, yeah. Mookie Betts. You know, you've Adam got... Adam Jones isn't too shy. Yeah, you've got a lot of young talent... Um, however, I'm just I'm sticking with the fact that your pitching outside of your closers is terrible. You have the worst ERA in the league. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Your quality starts. Let's see how many you got. Uh, 38. That's not too bad. It's pitching. Um, fifth in the league. Yeah. Sixth. Sixth. Uh, you got to improve there. That's mm -hmm. the bottom line. We've been saying it all year, right. and I don't know when you're going to listen, but you got to do it. I'm a teacher. We have five days left to school. Please put a rant up on Facebook so I have something to do during work. David. I am a bit perplexed. My word is perplexed because you have three losses, as, a, as do I, but I expected a lot more because you have three losses in the last five weeks, and you also beat Matt 6-5. However, maybe the best is yet to come. I don't know. I went with steady because I feel like we're never going to see David really – drop any like fifth place is his basement you know yeah. and just like little movements here it's and there it's a nice place to have a basement um, fifth place. mine is like 10th yeah so I, I, mean, I don't have anything else to say nope uh my team so we all know that the assistant commissioner here has never made the playoffs actually never finished better than ninth that can't be true but it is true but this year, he's going to make the playoffs, and that's my word is playoffs. Derek remembers the good old days in our old version of this league before we had keepers when I did better. I wasn't around. Yeah. I can't um, speak to that. I went with, for me, boomer bust, because I feel like yeah. my team is either going to crush or get crushed each week. Last week, I did well. This week, I'm doing well again, but Teresa's outrageous out of her mind i think so. that puts you a little bit above 500 which is where you i'll are, take that which i mean you 500 gets in the playoffs with. i'm it okay does. with that yep. uh stefan uh i put lucky because i have made bad decisions seriously twice in this league one letting go of my tenure keeper bogarts only to thankfully get him back because nobody picked him up i told you all he did and secondly uh trying to shop Corey kluber for absolutely nothing in April. Would you have taken this for Corey Kluber? Probably. Does it stretch out or is it? It, do, it does stretch a little, yeah. Does it move? Yeah. yeah. Is it it's pliable? Yeah. Yes, I would have taken that for Corey Kluber. Uh, and so thank God none of you did it because you were greedy. And I now am doing better in pitching. My ERA has been under four the last two weeks. So I'm guilty of that as well. Yeah, but, you are. Mm -hmm. uh, on that note, I went with four plus for your word. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your pitching needs help. You have 19 wins in the league. I made a trade now. To, to put that in perspective, David has 50, is mm -hmm. it? No, David has 50 David has quality 50, stars. sorry. I have 42 wins 42 to your 19. Wins. Hey, that's, it's coming yeah, back. It. I have the World um, Series MVP and the AL Cy Young Award winner. And but we were, we were talking about the trade that we made, yes. how it just it helped both teams tremendously. Yeah. And, you know, Tyson Ross should. He's only had quality starts since he's come on my team. And again, that's been two starts. It's a good trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Derek? Okay, so this is a little bit of a long explanation. But <clears throat> you, sir, are the New England Patriots. Nobody is that good without cheating. And we have the assistant commish and the assistant to the assistant commish. And we're going to find where you're cheating. And we're going to punish you in a really overly harsh way. Or? We'll make it up. I think that is also a We're going to get you. We need David on board. It's a monopoly of power. We have it here. You know, we can, Coming after you. we can do it, and I'll do it. It's a two-to-one two, two to one vote if David says no, so it's happening either way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Derek. First round draft pick, gone. gone. And that fine, that's coming to us. Do I get his first round draft pick as well? Mm, I don't know. We got to work that one out. All right. I think I should yeah. get it. I'm going to dibs those games. Oh, either way. Yeah. I'm gonna, so Tanker's got it. Yeah, Great. there you go. Uh, I went with crushed, as in I just crushed him last week. Maybe because you knew that you couldn't do so, your cheating games against the assistant commission. I don't know. Couldn't bring his cameras into my house. Mm -mm, no spy gate here. Uh, Andrew Jones' diary. Henry Rowan Gardner. Dustin, you need to change your name, first of all, by the way. That's that's a last change year's it name. to Henry Rowan Gardner because you, sir, are the rookie of the year, and I hope you understand that reference because it's one of my favorite movies. It's everyone's favorite movie. I went with Ordinary but Extraordinary because you have a roster that... You're like, what the hell? You're probably in seventh place, and yet all you do is win. Mm -hmm. 
So, so I want to bring up something before we leave. Hmm? Do we think Bryce Harper now is the number one pick next year? You know, there has been a lot in the media about Bryce Harper in the last two weeks. Whether Babe Ruth references, Babe Ruth references, however you want to put it, is this is this a short spurt or is this extended throughout the season? Trout has not been extraordinary. I mean, Trout's been good, he's been but, good but he has not. not been the best player by any means. My argument is, with that much talent, I don't think it's a spurt. I don't think he's going to keep doing this, but... I mean, he's batting like 450 or What round did you draft in the third round? Fourth? Uh, I think second. Oh, really? I was Maybe? hoping that would have been a keeper for you, but... I don't, didn't I get like Bryce and then Strasburg? I think you're right. Strasburg. You don't have him anymore. Yeah, Teresa right. and I were talking though. So the last two years, I've traded Strasburg to her. I feel like you know, and we agreed to this next year. Just lay off. She's just going to draft Strasburg and it saves save the both trouble. of it. Yeah, I mean, what's the point? I don't know of if you have unlimited text messaging. Having but having to trade, you know, it's stupid. So just next year, just we'll let her have them, and then I won't. You know, yeah. it'll be good. Um, we want to talk about this week's matchup. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, me and Teresa first. Uh, if you were to ask me Sunday, I would have said probably pretty close, but I think Teresa is just, she'd beat anybody right now. I, I'm going with her. She's just, her team's playing very well. If you were to ask me Sunday, I would have been pretty damn confident. That was before Josh Donaldson scored. He scored five runs last night. My whole team had four in two days combined. It's not a favorable step for you. It is not. Mm-hmm. She hit a well, it was basically a walk-off home run today and no, then had a complete game shutout. She has a, 10 or 11 10 home runs this week. She has 10 this week. Last time we checked, it was about and 20 minutes it's ago. And it's Wednesday. It's like two and a half days of baseball. So you're going to set a record this week, apparently, is what's going on here. Good so for I'm you. getting crushed. Way to let go of the whole wedding uh, thing. David and Brandon. Um, I'm going with David, but uh, Brandon's put up a decent fight at 6-4. Uh, I feel like David's gonna pull out like a seven five win here. That seems likely. Yeah. I've just I've noticed if you look, so the offense, offenses are up here. Pitching is pitching well, is piss poor on both ends, which is which is nice that you're doing that together. You I don't know if you had an agreement or whatever. whatever maybe maybe you you uh, conspired, but colluded. David's team's better, so I'm going David. Uh, Marcus and Derek. Derek's team's better, so I'm going Derek. But so I feel like this is the opposite of David's matchup. Uh, Marcus is just mashing, mashing, yeah, and Derek dealing. So we're gonna have like a sweep on each side and even like, out. Is that? I feel like his pitching is more apt to outlast Marcus's hitting, just because the That's daily basis. That's very likely. And Derek's pitching is nasty this year. He knows. He knows how to pick a team. Uh, Matt and Dustin. Uh, I picked Dustin because Dustin's team's better. That's the trend that I'm going with. Picking the team that's better. I feel like this is just, it's going to be a draw. I mean, I've, I know I said draw. Yeah, if, if you look at the stats now, right I, now, what is it, 5-5? Five, five? It's, yeah. I mean, you guys are too close to call here. And yeah. on that, that's what I'm going with for uh, you and Dudley as well. I'm going with Dudley because my start is so horrendous. It's going to be hard to get my on-base and slugging. My OPS is probably about 500 right now. So that's not good. No, it, it's it's good if it was one of the two subjects, but combined, no, it's not, not good at all. Uh, oops, I clicked on the wrong one. That's I'm, okay. Want to find out what it is? Bear with us for a second. We're researching on camera. Team Stefan, uh, two thirty one nope. on base and two thirty nine slugging. There we go. <laughs> that's not good. That's a what? It's a four <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> 470 guys yes uh wow that's not even that good it's, it's i mean so... it's good but not amazing on either one of the subjects so yeah um i'm gonna lose us too well it'll uh, be close though probably so but it if, won't hurt you uh, looking rationalizing this week if i lose let's say four i still finish 15 and 8 over two weeks so i'll take that two weeks split Total uh, rationalization. Though. Lastly, I want to give a survivor plug. As I told you earlier, there are a thousand five people in to start. We're down to four twenty eight right now. Uh, I think at the end of the week we're going to be down to four hundred. Uh, it looks like there's about twenty seven people eliminated this week. Me and David picked the Mets. We're three and zero already. We're Pick through. the Rangers we're clear. next week. We're one game under five hundred. Are you going with? Well, I mean, I'm just a Rangers fan. Man. Well, if you have suggestions, let me know what team you think is going to finish 500 or better. Me and David aren't thrilled with the options. So, anyways, 100000 bucks on the line. 
that would be money in your pocket if we win. So bar tab in Austin for me. Fred's um, porch. For me. Um, you got trivia? Yeah, I do. So uh, the only people that have been answering is myself and answer. Uh, Tinker. And David, thank you for the post on Facebook. Uh, so I went a little bit easier, so you won't have to look it up or think about it. Two teams that have never made a World Series. If you can name both of them, I will give you a pat on the back over do, the internet. Do we count current franchises who in the past may have gone, such as a team in Washington? Or is this like a new well, thing? Well, that franchise count? has never gone to a World Series. As a giving example. Oh, no, so we know that Washington's never gone. <laughs> What's the other team? All right, Pick well, it. that's yeah. one. You know I've who had, it's this not? This is my third beer. You know who's day. been to the World Series? Be as it may a while ago, but... They've been. Don't pick them. Uh, so good luck. Yeah. Write it in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you Thanks, later. Guys. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Uh, bye. Good luck to me, not you. <laughs>